Okay, hello, good afternoon, how are you today? Uh, the first thing I would like us to do is to talk about what we did during the weekend, okay? Um, so, uh, for example, Maria, can you tell us what exciting things you did during the weekend, please? <laughs> I don't remember. The weekend? Oh, yes. I went to Madrid to visit my brother. Maria. Oh, okay. Well, the family, my father, mm -hmm. my, my other brother, mm -hmm. uh, all the family. Cool. Your brother meets you in Madrid? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. How was your brother? <laughs> well. He's well. Okay. <laughs> okay. How about you, Javi? What did you do during the weekend? No, more relax. <laughs> uh, I was working in my garden. Yeah. Uh, with the the, the, the green, not green. The, yeah, the with the grass. grass the, the grass. grass uh -huh. no? The the grass. Uh, uh, working with my family. Very very quiet. Mm -hmm. So you got to rest a lot, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, have you ever played the game of anagrams? Anagrams? Anagrams. anagrams. We're going to play a game which is called anagrams. What does this game consist of? I'm going to write a word here, but the letters are mixed ah. up. The letters are not in order. Okay, so imagine, for example, um, oh, and another important thing is that the words that you're going to have to try to guess are adjectives. Okay, uh, okay so imagine, for example, that I write... Um, so this is an anagram, okay? Nice. Very good, my <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do a kind of a, a competition, okay? And whoever, uh, whoever guesses the, the, the word first has a point, okay? Okay. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um okay, let's see. Um okay. Angry point for Maria. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have angry. Very good. Let's see. And the next one. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> this is not the year of the Barça. Exactly. It's there. Have such bad luck. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. Let's do. Yes, point for, <laughs> point for Javier. <laughs> Very good, okay? So, uh, it's um, a two-to-one, okay? <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, No? That would be a noun. Thin. Yes. Thin. Point for Thin. Maria. Very Thin. good. Thin. Okay. So we have three to one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> As Robert De Niro would say, you're good. You're good. <laughs> like Robert De Niro. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see the next one. Um, Yes. <laughs> so we have friendly. F R I E N D L Y. Friendly. Very good. Okay. And like uh, like, like <laughs> And let's see. Um.
Pink. Yes, yes, oh. yeah, yes. Oh. Yeah, you know, the color pink can also be an adjective, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. So it's a uh, four to two. Okay, now we're going to change. Now the words that you are going to have to guess, the words that you're going to have to guess are um, things that you can eat. Things you okay. can eat. Okay. Um, hmm. Rape. <laughs> That's a fish. Yeah. <laughs> or a pear. <laughs> 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 a pear. Very good. So this would be a pear. Okay. A pear. And let's see. The, the fruit. Yeah, the fruit. Okay. And the last one. Let's see the last one. Um, Okay, let's see. Um, pizza. Yes, pizza. Very good. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Well done, both of you. Okay, well done. Okay, the language point in, in which we are going to focus now is hypothetical meaning. You know what hypothetical meaning is? Well, we won't answer this question yet. Let's move on and then by the end you will be able to answer the question, okay? So first, let's focus on I wish, okay? I wish. I mean, what, write this a bit more over here. I wish. Okay? Um, so we would have... Uh, let's see, I'm going to tell you something. I wish I had a dog. Okay? For example, imagine I say, I wish I had a dog. Maria, do you wish you had a dog? Yes, I wish. Okay, so you wish you had a dog, yes. okay? Which structure, which structure have we used to write, to express this sentence? I wish I had a dog. Yeah, so, well, well, no, basically first we would start with wish, right? Yeah, wish plus... And which verb tense have we used? Present. Wish. No, I have. No, I have. This is past perfect. Exactly. Past simple. 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 Past Oh, there are other, present. yeah, there are the other situations which we will okay. see after this one. Okay. You can say I wish I to have a dog. No, that no. would be incorrect. No. Okay. But I wish yes. I have. No, a that dog. would also be incorrect. Yes. Yes. We will get later to the next okay. one. Okay. Because later the the thing later we uh, do have a, a little change. There are also different structures. Let's start with this one. When do you think we would use this structure? Wish plus past simple. Mm-hmm. Basically. Something to have something to. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You are expressing a wish for something to come true. That's what you're doing. You're expressing a wish for something to come true. For something to come true. Or to talk about wishes that might come true in the future. To talk about something that might happen in the future. Might. Yes, that might happen or may happen. This would be one possibility. Now, imagine I'm going to tell I'm going to tell you an, uh, I'm going to give you a different sentence. Okay, imagine I say, "I wish wars would end." Okay, let's see. So, have imagine I say, "I wish wars wars." Would end. Javier, do you wish wars would end? Yes, I wish. Mm -hmm. Which structure? Well, you can you can respond. Yes, I wish or yes, I do. Yes. Exactly. Yes, I do would be the short f the short way of responding, or the long way would be yes, I wish wars would end. Okay. Which structure have we used here? Plus condition. So basically, we are using here. Wish plus would or could. Okay, now be careful because um, could we are only going to use could when talking about things that we could do in the past. Okay, with would you are, we are only building the uh, you know the conditional, mm -hmm. but with could we are talking about something that we could do in the past. Okay, and when do you think we use this structure? When? In which situations would we use this structure? Express a wish for something to come true. Basically, in this case, this is a very generic way of expressing a wish. It's the general way of expressing a wish, okay? So it's basically a general wish for the future. What we are doing here is just expressing a general wish for the future. Now, and here comes the the important thing, I'm going to get another. Now, when we want to talk about something that we wish for ourselves, for ourselves, would we use, would we use would or could? For yourself. Yes, when it's for yourself, a wish for yourself, do we use, do we use would or could? 
For example, which do you think would be correct? I wish I, uh, I wish I would climb a mountain, or I wish I could climb a mountain. Could. Could, could. climb a mountain. Exactly. So, could. We use could. For wishes. Wishes that we have for ourselves. And now the last sentence I'm going to give you, okay? Uh, imagine. I wish... I'm going to read it. Imagine I say, I wish I had met Freddie Mercury. Maria, do you wish you had met, Fre uh, met Freddie Mercury? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Javier, do you wish you had met Freddie Mercury? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and if we substitute, yes, I do, for the long sentence, how will we say it? Yes, I did. No, uh, so we're basically no, saying the same yes. thing. Yes. So instead of saying, yes, I do, how would you say it in, in the long way? Yes, okay. uh -huh. yes I wish. I have met Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So which structure of, are we using here? We're using which plus and which verb tense? Uh, had met. Past perfect. Past perfect, exactly. Wish plus past perfect. And when do you think we use this structure? Wish plus past perfect. I think this is a, a wish. It's, it is impossible now. No? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Basically, what we are doing is we are referring to something that we are sorry about from the past. Something that is not possible. You know? So it's something that we are sorry about from the past. From the past. Yes, as Javier said, something that's it's impossible or very, very unlikely, almost impossible. And I, I'm sorry, I, I, you know, I, I didn't meet Freddie Mercury. I wish I had met him, but now I, I can't. Mm -hmm. Okay, and very briefly, and then we will proceed to do some activities. Um, if only... We have, we can build expressions starting with if only. When can we use if only? When do you think we can use if only? If only. only. Mm. I think um, when you have only one alternative or a situation, for example, now, you know what, Javier? You can actually use if only with the same verb forms as I wish. Okay. Yes, so ba it's... Basically, we can use it... Oh, sorry. With same verb forms as... I wish. You see, Maria, I was just telling Javier that we can use if only with the same verb forms as I wish. Are they, are they exactly the same 100%? No, there's a small difference. With if only, there's a small difference. 
something that makes it different to I wish. Imagine I say, um, I wish I had met Freddie Mercury. If only I had met Freddie Mercury. I wish I had met Freddie Mercury. And if only I had met Freddie Mercury. When we use if only, our feelings are stronger. We are more passionate about something. Our feelings are stronger. Our feelings are stronger. And we often use it with we often use it with an exclamation with an exclamation mark. So we say, I wish I had met Freddie Mercury, or if only I had met Freddie Mercury. Often used with an exclamation mark. Okay. Okay, what we are going to do now is before we begin with our oral activity, uh, which will be at the end, now we're going to do uh, these exercises over here. I will have you do, I will have you do this exercise uh, in pairs, okay? So you can answer it on your, on your sheet of paper, but try to do it in pairs so you can talk between the two of you if, I, if you have any questions, okay? So instead of doing it individually, like um, only you, so you can talk to Maria and Maria you can talk to Javier, okay? And if you have any questions, please, don't hesitate to ask me. Okay, so, um, as you can see, the first one is done as an example, right? The first one is already done for you as an example. So, what might you say in these situations? And you have to begin with, I wish. So imagine, someone who never answers your emails. So what you would say is, I wish you would answer my emails. Then what you would say to someone who makes rude remarks about, about you? You would say, I wish you wouldn't make rude remarks about me, okay? Mm -hmm. So those are the examples. Now let's see. Hurry up is to do something quickly. Okay. To hurry up is to do something quickly. Okay. I wish. History, no. History is what you, the subject that you study in school. 
Okay. And the story, when you say, oh, I'm going to read a story, like uh, oh, okay. the story of Peter Pan, okay. uh, for example. Okay. Yes. Like it's a typical thing that mothers read to their children before they go to bed, for example. Okay, so shall we take a look at it? Number one. Okay, let's see. So we have, what do you, would you say to someone who won't hurry up? Maria, please. I wish you'd go hurry up. I wish you would hurry up. Okay? Because here we're using the structure of wish plus would. Okay? Yes. I wish you would hurry up. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And what would you say to someone who never does the washing up? Javier, please. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wish uh, you would do the washing up. Very good. I wish you would do the washing up. Now, this is something that uh, sometimes in families, <laughs> that either the wife can tell the husband or the, tell the husband can tell the wife. So it can lead to confrontations in the family. <laughs> And what would you say to someone who isn't telling you the whole story? Maria, please. I wish you tell me the real story. The whole, the, the whole, whole story. story, exactly. I wish, the whole... I wish you tell me exactly. the whole story. Very good. Yeah, very good. So here Maria has decided to do, use the contracted form. Yes. So you can either no, say, you, you. Okay, okay. so you can you say, I yeah, wish yeah, 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 yeah. you would or also, I wish you'd, either way, okay, very good. Okay, now we have, what would you say to someone, oh, so then, I, what would you say to someone who isn't telling you the whole story, I wish you'd tell me the whole story, very good, and the next one, Javier, please. He, uh, he wouldn't blow cigarette smoke in your face. Very good. Wouldn't, no? wouldn't. wouldn't. Exactly. So, what would you say to someone who blows cigarette smoke in your face? I wish you wouldn't blow cigarette smoke in, in my face. Very good. And finally, what would you say to someone who won't tell you what he's thinking? Maria, please. I wish you tell me what you are thinking. Very good. I wish you would tell me or I wish you'd, you'd tell me what you are thinking. Very good. Now, in the next exercise, in number two, what are we going to do? We are going to use the wish plus past um, structure, okay? So we have the first one done for us as an example. Vicky is fed up. You know to be fed up means fed up? In the, in the first one over here. Uh, I don't know. To be fed up, in the example, fed up is angry, to be angry, yes. So to be fed up is to be angry. So Vicky is fed up. What is she saying? Using I wish or if only, okay? We can use either I wish or if only. She can't think straight. Well, I wish I could think straight. In this case, could, as in the past of the verb to can, okay? Okay. Ready, set, go.
All right. Okay, so let's see. Um, Vicky, well, she is so tired. What do you think she? What is she saying, Javier? I wish I was so tired. I wish I was, or do we need a, def a, dif a different uh, form? I wish she, she was. No, no. I wish I wasn't. I, 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 you know, she doesn't want to be tired. <laughs> So we would use the negative form there, okay? Yes, Maria? I wish I wasn't so tired because she, does, she doesn't want to be tired. And number two, she gets headaches. What is, what is she saying? If only I didn't get headaches. If only I didn't get headaches. Very good. Using, uh, using if only. Very good. Okay, um, Javier. What uh, he uh, her work isn't going well. What is she saying? Uh, I wish his work was going well. Now, careful with the subject because this is something she is saying. I wish. His, his work. No. Ah, my my work. my work <laughs> exactly. My work mm -hmm. was going well. <laughs> I wish my work was going well. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Maria, the next one, please. And um, I wish my work went well. That would also be okay. correct. Exactly. That would also be correct. Okay. She can't concentrate. I wish I could concentrate. I wish I could concentrate. And if we chose if only? I think it is better I wish, no? In this case, yes. But if you're feeling so really passionate about it and your feelings are very strong, if only I could concentrate. Yeah. But it makes more sense, I wish. It makes more sense, I wish, exactly. And the last one, Javier, please. Life is so complicated. Hmm, yes, exactly. If only life wasn't so complicated. If only w life wasn't so complicated. Very good, Javier. Very good. I, we, we all say the same thing, right? <laughs> I think they are reading our mind. They know exactly what we think. <laughs> Okay, now what are we doing in, in exercise three? What we are doing in exercise three is we're going to use the past perfect. We're going to use wish plus the past perfect. Okay, so okay. We're, uh, we have an example, you know, and we have to use the words accepted, caught, found, played, saved, and stayed. Okay, look at the example. I spent all my money. So what do you say? I wish now that I had saved it. Remember, we're using the past perfect, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready, set, go.
Okay, let's see, let's give it a try. So number one, Maria, I missed the train. I really wish that it had missed the train. That it had missed that the train had... You know what to miss a train means? Yes. I think I know another thing. Javier, can you help? I hadn't missed. I hadn't not missed. To miss the exactly. Not to, she doesn't want to miss it. Yes. <laughs> She's not happy with that. Yes. She w exactly. So okay. Yes, so yes, I wish yes, yes. I hadn't. Hadn't missed the train. Yes. Hadn't missed the train, or had not missed the train. Yes, okay. Yes. Very good. Javier, number two, please. Rita left the party early. Nick uh, wishes uh, wishes had stayed before. Okay. So the verb is going to be stayed, but. Nick wishes somebody had stayed um, before. Before is so. What, what, how can you say when you want to stay stay for a longer time? Maria, maybe can you help Javier here? For more time, no. Or longer, uh, longer. also longer. for more time or longer. So how will we say it? Nick wishes. Had stayed. Rita, Nick ah. wishes Rita. Uh, now the verb stayed had stayed longer. longer, exactly. Nick wishes Rita had stayed longer. And number three, Maria, please. And Emma refused the, the offer, but her parents agreed that she hadn't refused the offer accept, or had accept, accepted the the Very good. Yeah, accepted, because since we have to use the, the words given here, we have to use accepted. Okay. So, her parents wish she had accepted the offer. Yes, yes Javier? Okay, Javier, can you do number four, please? Yes. I look it everywhere for the key. I wish I had found it. I wish I had found it. Very good. And the last one, Maria, please. The injured player could only what? He wishes that they or the injured player. Mm -hmm. The injured player could only watch. He wishes that. Ah, uh, oh yeah, but almost you missed uh, the subject. He wishes that he. he he wishes that he mm -hmm. had played. played. Okay. Exactly. Okay. He wishes he had played. Okay. Very good. Now, what we're, what we're going to do now, uh, a game, okay? And in this game we're going to do, you're going to have papers over here, okay? Mm -hmm. Which we're going to put in the center of the, of the table, over here. Right over here, for example. All right, and now, um, in each of these papers, there is a situation. For example, uh, imagine, imagine you take a paper. In one of these papers, you have a situation. Imagine you you read. Uh, you are hungry. Okay. Imagine you take a piece of paper, and the situation is that you are hungry. Then, um, uh, you cannot say you cannot say the situation that you have in the paper. Okay, that's a secret. Okay. But you have to help your partner guess the situation by using "I wish" or "if only." So, for example, if the situation you have in the paper is you are hungry. Which sentences could you say using I wish or if only for your, par for your partner to guess the situation? What could you say, for example? <laughs> if only I had a sandwich. <laughs> exactly. Or with I wish. Well, you could also say I wish I had a sandwich. Or I wish. I wish I could eat. 
I wish I could eat, for example. Okay, you see, you understand the game. Okay, okay so, um, okay, so now whenever you want, for example, Javier, you can start. You can pick up a piece of paper. Okay, and remember, you cannot say the situation. Maria has to guess it. Okay, you have to express a wish using I wish or if only. If only I had learned music. Very good. So, yes, he said. If only I music. learned. If only I had. If only I had. I had learned music. If only I had learned music. Very good. <laughs> what do you think the situation is? I don't know. Okay. For example, I don't know. Well, it's okay. You can I, I you can tell her. Uh, mm, I wish. Uh, I wish I wash like the. Brian May, Brian May, you know? Oh, yes, the best, yes, <laughs> he, I know who he is, yes. Brian May, of Queen? Yes. You know Queen? Brian May, yes, 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 you yes, must yes, know yes, Brian yes, May yes. with the hair. <laughs> what uh, Brian May did? But, uh, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the team, in the group, in Queen, what Ma Brian May did? I don't know. What but instrument? <laughs> A guitar or <laughs> yes, you are a, a okay. guitarist or I don't. What If only I had learned music. So what is the situation? If only I had learned music. Yes, yeah, yeah, I I understand, but I will don't like know. Like for example, <laughs> if only I have had music, uh, I have I I I had learned music. I will be like like Brian May. The situation? And maybe it's a bit difficult. So it's yes. what is the situation, Javier? You can't play the guitar. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Yes. So he can play the guitar. And yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 But good. Good effort. Very good effort. Okay. okay, okay now okay. Maria's turn. <laughs> it's like it's, it's the same in Spanish. Yes, no? it's the same. Okay. It's the same. Uh huh. Uh, I wish I born earlier. For I example, wish I, I was born earlier. In this case, it would be. But it's uh -huh. it's very difficult. It's difficult. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> I was born earlier. In yes. Past. Yes. 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 Uh, I wish I. Whoa. Biggest. 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 Yes, biggest. But not biggest. <laughs> so you can, if you want, you, like if you want, you, you can make it easier for Javier. So you can say something about your brother, for example. Yes. Okay. I, <laughs> I think I can say this. Yes. I wish I was born earlier mm -hmm. um, 
or I wish I was bigger than my brother. No? Okay. Yeah. You can't uh, play basketball, for example? No. no. <laughs> Look like bigger? No. It's biggest. Like for the eights. For? The eights. Ah, the eights. Yes. Older. I Older. Uh, older. I wish <laughs> I was older than my brother. You must to be older. Than my brother. Uh, mm, I don't know. Uh, Very difficult. <laughs> I you want to to be the preferred of your parents? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> want to be, um, I wish I dominate my brother. Ah. You want to be stronger? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think happened to her many years ago? Uh, many years ago, the, the women uh, were, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, many years ago, yes. with the, with the w women. When I was a child, no? When you were? When you were? Child. Okay, it's okay. Maria, can you can you it's tell? Very <laughs> My big brother bullied me. It's very difficult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you see, you could have said it in a way, in a different way. Like you could have said, eh, when I was a child, when I was little, my brother. Eh, no, eh, you you could have said, eh, I wish, I wish my brother hadn't bullied me when I was a child. That would have made it yeah, easier. But it's the sentence. Yeah, but in I the end, say this. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're okay. right. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, Javier, no please. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's very difficult. I wish, if only I had studied more. Sorry? If only I had studied more. You can do a career or a study something. No, it's much. It's, 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 it's when we when we were young, when 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 we were in the university, maybe say this. If only I had studied more. You can finish the study. No, you can finish the studies or for example in the university age on the on the high school no, days, for example. If only I had studied more. Maybe now uh, uh, I will not be so nervous. So nervous. If only I had to study more, maybe now uh, I will not be with this nervous. Because we, I am going to have a, uh, an, an exam or something like this. <laughs> yes. So what's the situation? Almost you can almost. pass the exam. To have an exam. Ah, tomorrow, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, very good. And now, finally, the last activity we are going I to do. Have for the night to study. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what you're going to do is you're going to write on a piece of paper, each of you is going to write on a piece of paper, three wishes. Three wishes. Two of them have to be true, and one of them false. Okay? okay. I, I'll, I'll repeat. You have to write three wishes. Three wishes true that is possible to, to come. No, uh, no, no. Wi two of them have to be real wishes, something you really wish. Ah, my, my real wishes. Yes, okay. but one of them has to be false. One of them okay. has to be false. For example, yes. For example, I wish I was a, a politician. That's a, in my case, that's a false wish. <laughs> okay. 
Remember, two true, two true wishes and one false wish. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in a simple paper like that. Yeah. Exactly. Are you studied to be a teacher, or I wish I had studied. Had a study? Yeah, you're to regretting be to be a teacher exactly because you are. Be yeah, teacher. because you're regretting something from the past. Okay. Mm. Only three. Okay, only three sentences. Okay, so now please exchange your papers, okay? So Javier, you give your paper to Maria, Maria to Javier. Okay, so now what you're going to do is, Javier, you're going to read Maria's uh, wishes, and you have to try to guess which one is true and which one's false, okay? Okay. Okay, Javier, can you start, please? I wish I, I cleaned the Himalaya. I wish I had studied to be a teacher. Okay, so let's start with the first one. I wish... I cleaned... Himalaya. I wish I climbed the Himalaya. I think it's true. Yes. It's true? <laughs> Very good, Javier. <laughs> Very good intuition. Very good intuition. Uh, can you read the second one, please? I wish I had studied to be a teacher. And the second one is I wish I can play battery. So how about the second one? I think the battery is true. Yes. <laughs> Okay. So, okay. <laughs> okay. And the second one is false. It's false yes. Okay. Yes. So you don't wish you had a no. uh, you had studied to be a teacher. No. Okay. Very only for the vacations. Only, <laughs> only for for the holidays. Only for, for the, the holidays. holidays no. Okay. And Maria, now can you read Javier's, please? I wish I had studied history. I think it's true. I also think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good. I wish I had lived in USA and the other one is I wish I had met Jesse Owens you know Jesse Owens <laughs> which, which is, is the, is the <laughs> it's very difficult lo que no quería no hay un personaje histórico no conocido es eh, is the the, the, the black uh, the black uh, runner uh -huh. that won the three medals of, of gold in the Olympic Games of Berlin Oh. In the face of Hitler. Oh my goodness. Okay, the second one is false. <laughs> the second one is true. Okay, okay. Very good. Okay, so very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, I'm Ivan. This has been lesson four. And these over here.